What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Film. So here we are in post. Now you guys, if you haven't seen the video, uh, make sure to check this link out. It should be in the comments below or a little pop-up will pop up, but make sure you watch the video first because um, if not, this kind of spoil things. But I'm here in DaVinci Resolve 14 and we're gonna take a look at this, uh, these footage that I have of the GH5 and micro cinema camera in post so you can see what they look like if you don't have DaVinci Resolve 14 um yet so let's go ahead and get started let's look at this clip first so this is the gh5 straight from the camera this is vlog all right let's control f okay we're gonna click next this is the micro cinema camera raw and this is prores version all right, so let's press escape. We're gonna go back to the GH5. Um, I have the corrected versions as well. So this is the straight from the camera. And now we're gonna look at the GH5's uh, Rec 709 only. I haven't done any tweaking whatsoever. So you can see here, all my nodes are X'd out. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go through them one by one. Now, let's control F. Now the first thing that my wife noticed is the skin tone on her face. And we can actually zoom in a little bit. It looks kind of bluish. Now my wife's technically my colorist because I can't see colors. I'm color stupid, but she told me right away, like, look, to balance this image, you have to get rid of that blue out of her face. Because like I said in the previous video, we shot this in the shade and the background is blasting sun, red sun. It's, the sun was about to go down, but anyway. So that's why the color cast is really bad. And somebody wanted it this way. So what I did now was change my temperature and tint. If you don't know where that's at in DaVinci, you go down here, bottom left. My wife helped me out. She said, that looks pretty natural. So we go before, we go after. Pretty close, right? Now after that, I did some minor, minor, let's turn on our scopes, minor tweaking uh, the contrast here. Pretty much just dra uh, dragging the blacks down to close to zero with this node here. So let's untick that, and you see that just crushed it just a little bit. Let me go ahead and remove this. Okay, so there's your image now. And now I have this here, which is a loom saturation. Basically, just making sure that the bottom end of our image is blacked out. And take that, you can see the change down there. Look, see it? Make this a bit bigger. This is just a lum satu uh, luminance saturation tweak right there. See, it's all kind of flattened out. And then I moved into a minor tweak on her skin tone on her face by going to node seven using a window, power window with tracking, right? So we have this power window and I tracked it on her face. So let's untick that and see what that does. So I brighten her face up just a little bit. You can see that, right? This is before, after. And I gave it a little bit of orange to give her a little bit more like the blood skin color, right? So before, after looks better, right? And the eight node, I just have a uh, false color. But that's pretty much it. I didn't do any saturation changes, I left it as is. Cause I didn't wanna make too much uh, changes to these images so you guys can see them as close to the original as possible. The waveforms look good. There wasn't anything clipping. So that's good. So let's move on, let's move on to the micro cinema camera. Press next. Same exact thing. These first three is just direct 709, whatever. Now, when my wife saw this, she's like, leave the skin tone alone because it was already, it already looked good. And that is because Blackmagic's sensor, color science, whatever you call it, handles this very well. And it, and it helps that it's raw too. If you go here, you can see that I didn't even touch the color temp or tint. 
I left them alone. Both cameras were shot out of white balance, okay? So I didn't, I didn't even touch it, and my wife said, the skin tone looks great. So I didn't do anything on the four. On the fifth, I did my minor tweak, just dragging down the blacks a little bit, give it a little bit of a contrast, right? And on the sixth, same thing, just cleaning up the bottom edge, the bottom of that waveform. Make sure the blacks are blacks and it's clean. And seven again, similarly, this is when I treated the skin tone. And you can probably tell she's a little bit darker. So let's untick it. Just boosted her exposure just a little bit with some windows. Now I'm not a colorist guys, so you guys would probably do a lot better than me. I'm, I don't know how to color. This is just me BSing in DaVinci Resolve 14. Um, I have a window tracker mode, same exact deal. Added a little bit of orange to her gamma face and lifted it up a little bit to give her that um, exposure pop. So before, after, perfect. Similarly, I did the same exact thing for the ProRes version. But like we talked about before, the ProRes records it brighter. I didn't touch anything because I wanted to show you guys that. So let's untick four, five, six, seven. Basically, ProRes recorded it like this, but obviously, you know, a lot flatter, but I have Rec 709 stuff there. Four, I didn't touch the tint. It looked good. Five, I just brought the blacks down. I didn't touch too much of the exposure because I don't want to do that. I want to show you the exposure change when shooting ProRes. Blacks, same exact thing. Seven, I actually had to darken her face because of ProRes shooting at a higher exposure. And there is your final image. So, like I said, if you haven't seen the video, make sure you check it out first. I just like to split up the videos into multiple ones because I don't want my videos to be super long. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Peace.